That's his horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Footprints. And hoofprints. A goat. Interesting. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. <laughs> Eskel's tracks. The nose knows. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post east. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher, Wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. Takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Eskel and Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. This spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up.
Yes, Wolf? Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! Come on, Roach. Hey there. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime, and we'll call it good. Done deal. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement, to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So... Got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself. Or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exodus. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah.
Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble, attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden, vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm, a fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a Witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> D 
didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Yeah, unless you'd rather play strip quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. All right, change the subject. Because you refuse to admit I'm right? Whatever. Fine. Stop being a smartass and poor. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. Gotta say, I'm pretty warm. He's always been a wuss about the cold. Remember winter 15 years ago, when the snow stayed around until Bellatane? Mm-hmm. Lambert sat by the fire, wrapped in a blanket. Cussed copiously every time it started to snow. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game. Student from Oxenford talk. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? 
Esco, Esco. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, you're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Oh, Amber, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, you oaf. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's that going? Now, we ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue. Esco! Ah. Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Hey. Hear that? Sounded like... panting. A wounded wyvern. Damn it. We missed a fight. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Eskel, chop, chop. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Eskel. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, you're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah. Summon the bitches. All right. How's this work? Well, a twist here, a turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. 
I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Ugh. We don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Gerald. Yes, perfect! Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking, get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill blood at Hocus pocus, I break a dab, brother. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of... What's the term? relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we? Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. 
Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data. Ran simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock and killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No. But it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I would hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Floor. No. A trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, 
I'm just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Rolodin steel. Good price too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Everywhere, and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Seren. In Skilliger. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... no. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. 
Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice, besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty Boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalok to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than not. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. <laughs>